Hey everyone, I'm your host Jibo, and this is It Never Ends, part 208. In the movie Aliens in the Attic, we can see how aliens fell from the sky during a rainstorm. Hello, humans. Please tell me you see that too. If this wasn't already suspicious enough, then the fact that some of the aliens are reptilians should make it all clear for you. In the movie Chicken Little, we see the same theme of aliens. Could that be why the movie Monsters vs. Aliens shows similar stuff? This is all right here to see. In the movie Cowboys vs. Aliens, it's another example of the same stuff. The aliens that we see in the movie actually leave Earth and in the process get destroyed. This all makes me wonder, could it relate to this cube that we saw in the Jumanji movie? Freemasonry is everywhere. And here's more proof. How much more do you need? Because it's all here. On this post here, I saw this guy here comment. When I went on his page, I saw this lady here who has an inverted cross necklace. When I went to the barber's page, I could see that he shows the six. But going back to this guy's page, on his page, I found this post in which this lady here has a butterfly tattoo on her neck. When I went to her page, I found out she had a skeleton tattoo on her wrist which makes the guy that I found her through being pictured here with NLA Chapa, who I've shown for having the same tattoo, much more questionable. Maybe the butterfly in her butt relates to all of this. I've covered Bono a long time ago for doing these hand signs here. Turns out his son Elijah Hewson is no different himself. And in this photo shoot where he's doing it a second time, you can see this other bandmate to the left showing the same. This should all let you know once again, it never ends.